Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Brown's second. Today is quite a special video. I'm going to be doing unboxing on a new streetlight I got in. It's a G6 Z5713. Now I got this lantern off eBay for £45 plus £10 shipping, so I got it for £55, but it's still quite a good deal, I would say. Now this now, this is the first video I've done in quite a long time since I've been very busy with A-levels and schoolwork and such, but, uh, but I hope everyone had a great new year and a good Christmas and all, but anyways, the, well, it came, now this arrived today after, well, this is six days from ordering, and it came in, a re and it came in this really big box, quite heavy, so you can see, it's a little bit beaten up. Has a hole, has a hole in it here, as you can see. There you go. And according to the labels, ten kilograms. It's quite explains why it's so heavy. But anyways, let's get opening it. To opening it. So it looks like most of the table already came away. So get the box open. There you go. So we got the tape off now. So now let's see. Let's so move the camera a little bit more closer to the box. So as you can see first so far, it's a lot of bubble wrap. A lot. You can see it's quite a lot of empty space I think. That there's the lantern. So I can pull it up. I can you know, find a way to get it out. I'm going to go this out first. So, more of the packaging here. And. Oh, wow! It actually came with the gear. I was not expecting that. Now this is a now this is GC, it's a remote geared lantern. So I thought I had to get the gear separately, but so I kind of very kindly to sell it actually fighting me with some gear already to one thirty five watt socks. Now this came with the bulb already and it says yeah, it came for free and if, and if it's damaged it will be covered it for covered unfortunately. Especially since now these bulbs are really expensive, but let's see if I can get the lantern out. So I got the lantern out of the box. Just check if there's anything else in here. Nope, it doesn't look like there's anything else. So I'll be back. So here's the lantern itself. As you can see, it's absolutely covered in bubble wrap. So that's removable with me before we can can see it kind of see the bows yellow in there we'll get move that off the way and let's see how we get this out so it looks like I came up the bow it's quite good uh, you can see the base casting there. I think one of the, the grub screws are probably seized on it, I imagine. If I can carefully get it to boot. Tear the bubble wrap off. Super able. Let's cut it open. Got me key there. And there it is. You can see my hand is already floating. So it looks like it arrived in one piece. So I'm quite surprised by that. So if I can hold it up. 
There's the lantern, there's the lantern itself. And as you can see, it came with the 35 watt socks. See if I can somehow remove this tape. Hopefully the tape doesn't hasn't put anything on the bow. Yeah, of course it's not going to cooperate. Now as you can see this lantern did get quite a lot of use and for some reason it has a blue sticker. Now the seller was also selling a couple few of the lanterns I think the one there. there's another GC, the older one, I think it's a lot taller than this. With um, I think it's more like a white top hat. And I think the electro one also had like it also had a blue stick on it, so I'm assuming they came from the same place. So I got all this off. And if I can do this carefully, I'm now going to remove the tape. The rest of the tape. Yeah, knowing like that left quite a sticky residue on there. Now if I can stand it up. Now you can see the top there. It's a bit worn. Now I do know why I could have not used some masking tape. That's going to be a pain to remove now. Yeah, it's definitely left a mark on the paint, but this will be this will be restored anyway. So you can see, used to be a photo cell here, and you can see where they drilled out the hole for it. Now I might probably go out to get one of them remote cells, but for the main times so going to stay like that. If I can open the lid, you can see big massive lacks here, and then. And it, it just opens up like that. As you can see, there's the socks lamp in there. The ring sit on its side. And over the So you kind of see the inside now, but I was not expecting this lantern be this big. I was expecting it to be a lot more smaller. Just from seeing the pictures. Look at the top. Move the tape up here. Hopefully, if you can see that, hopefully it's okay. It looks like this bow can come off. Good luck, sir. I'm going to do this. Let's move the cap a bit again, but let's see if I can. Now this, now in case you're wondering, this is the, the bow that came with it. Now I think it's used, according to the pictures I've seen. And I don't know why. So I decided it was a, a good idea to take this on here. But he's actually trying to secure it properly. And if I can get this off then. I'd be greatly appreciated. Ow, that hurt. Something sharp in there. It's tricky working in here. Be careful because this is. There you go, I freed the bulb. You can zoom out a bit there. Here it is. So we take the bubble wrap off it and see if it's a fight. 
you know, I can kind of see in there that it does have quite a bit of use to my feet and it's light, certain. But I have a few other ones from some other street lights that I just think that I'll be doing an update video of so you can have a look. Now, the update, no. I can get this off. So got some scissors. I do hope this that's the fight. That will be back in a second. So hey, back with some scissors so can try and make a way through without breaking it. Now I do this, now, one of the things about this lantern is, I believe it, repl I believe it replaced the GCZ by 670, which is the predecessor to this, and there will be a picture up on the screen, as you can see, but you can tell there's definitely a difference in the hats on these. Now this one looks a lot more related to the older style phone Gamma 6 with the thick brim lid which I actually have three of them which is currently being restored and hopefully soon there will be a video of them now this open Wrapped up really well. We can start to see it now. And there it is. It's the bulb itself, as you can kind of see there. It's a Philips 35 watt socks, made in UK. It's just a mainly standard one, as you can see. And then the knock tube. You can see it ha does have quite a lot of use from the black link, but you can just say so you can still see. And you can also, if you look close, you can also see the sodium in there. As you can see. Now normally it would just sit at the bottom, but it looks like some of it moved about over time. But there you go. Now these, now Philips stopped producing these bulbs quite a long time ago now. I think it was 2020. And these are really expensive now. So these are really valuable things now. But put it to the side, keep it safe. Now, going move the lantern closer, so the inside, so that's the inside there, kind of see. Now it looks like this has been disconnected for some reason. Now this, these are the cables for the lamp holder, which would go into here, and looks like it's been melted damaged to really quite poor condition and um, you can see the lamp holder in there to help hold the bulb in place and it's being held by these two support posts and you can see the actual bow itself has been held on by these two bolts on top of the bracket and you can see there there's your grounding right there and there's your four-way terminal block so and as you can see there's an if I zoom out you can see the inside of the lid there full slugs and bugs and whatnot and water so, so I got the lantern back up the way didn't you can see 
that's how it opens up there. I'm going to surface it and update if you can see. This where they drove the hole for the photo cell and it's a bit pointy and soft there. And this lid is actually a lot more robust than the Gamma 6s, so I can tell. You can see it's like a secondary lip on the inside. And you can see where the paint's been burnt slightly over time from the heat of the lamp. And you can tell that the lamp holders, I think the lamp holders still in good condition, but this definitely needs a big restoration. So if I can close it and now I'm not sure how this closes. This probably explains where there's tape on it. Yeah, so just clip on here. But I don't think it really wants to. Now it is a really big heavy duty latch though, and I thought I nearly got it there. Right, so I'll just leave it like that, so just set the lantern here, and we'll have a look at the gear the lantern came with. As you can see, it's also covered in bubble wrap, and you can even see dead spider in there. I nearly dropped it there, but I'm going to open it up now. And I think this came with everything I need to wander 35 watts stock lamp with this here. So I can Open it. Now oh, just push it. So there's the gear there. So you can see. And you can see the repo I can do it. I'm probably attached it inside the column for the lamp. So you can see that's your ballast and like that, there's the igniter. Now there's no capacitor since if you're running these on home on home electricity then you wouldn't really need um, a mains filter. But there we go. So in the future I'll be doing more videos on this lantern and I hope you and I hope you guys enjoyed the first video I did in quite a long time. And this lan now this lantern will be restored and I'm planning on giving it a full on resplay of glass black and if I can I'll see if I can maybe fill that in or mount a new photo cell on there. And as you can see down here there's the grub screw so it's very looks if it is seized and can and if I attach the camera, you can see the GEC logo there, made in England. And it is a very nice looking lantern. Definitely is. Now I believe they made another now I believe they made another version of these as well. Which I believe. Now there's an yeah, I believe there's another variation of this as well. But it's with a gear and it's a gear and head version. Which is called the GCZ five six nine nine, and that one, as you see in the picture, has quite lots. Has a a base inside here where the gears contained, and that I believe that one seventy watt shot on high pressure sodium, but the one I have here is a remote geared, running thirty five watt socks. So, be making we set up for this in the near future, but. I hope you guys and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video on my brand on my new addition to my streetlight collection, the GC said five seven one three.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification button. Bye.